Oh, unexpected guests. So, it seems that you want to tell the difference between real amber and fakes. Well, amber, fossilized plant resin, feels warm and is very light, unlike glass, for instance. For this reason, the most common amber fakes nowadays are made of plastic, which often contain shiny artificial debris to make them look more real. There are some tests for authenticity that can be done at home. Although amber is quite soft, you should not be able to scratch it with your fingernail. Also, using a hot needle on amber should release a pine-like resin smell that plastic would never provide. Lastly, rubbing amber on a thick cloth or fur charges it with static electricity, although some plastics can have the same property. It's my pajamas, by the way. Subfossil resins such as copal or cowrie gum are sometimes sold as amber. These resins are yellowish and tend to be more transparent than amber. Copal, unlike amber, gets partly dissolved and sticky using alcohol or ether. In the laboratory, we can recognize real amber running chemical and optical tests using specialized equipment. Now, fossils in amber are more difficult to fake, but they can be very convincing. As with pretty much everything in life, be suspicious of things that look too good to be true. The best forgeries are made of half-decayed animals put within real amber together with artificial resin, a process that requires the amber to be cut and emptied inside. The targets are usually small lizards, frogs or scorpions because these fossils are extremely rare and highly prized. Because good forgeries are made of real amber, the previous methods to test if a piece is authentic do not work. One of the most effective ways to detect alterations in alleged amber is using UV lamps. These are able to reveal seams or glues used to put the original cut amber piece back together. By studying the organisms preserved in amber, Specialists can also detect forgeries. Amber contains real fossils that are extinct species. These likely show differences with their living counterparts, whereas forgeries contain present-day species that have been more or less altered. Well, that was all. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. See you soon.